Hi, I'm Chope Hutchings, and this is how to use the live loops in GarageBand. Press on the GarageBand icon. Then tap on Create New Live Loops Song. Tap on an icon to open a ready-made live loop session, or tap on New. Here, I will tap on New. In the live loop area is a row of empty loop clips that are called cells. Tap on the first cell, then tap on the first cell again, and tap on loops. Now tap on genres. Then tap on the music style you want to create. Here I will tap on hip hop. Now tap on instruments. Then tap on the instrument loop you want. Here I will tap on kits. Now tap on the sound icon next to the loop to hear it. Then tap on the sound icon again to stop playback. Tap on the download icon to add the loop to the loop cell. Now tap on the second loop cell in the row. Then tap on it again. And tap on loops. Now tap on the download icon for another drum kit loop. Tap on the first cell to play the loop. Then tap on the first cell again to stop playback. Tap on the second cell to play the loop. Then tap on the first cell to change loop. Then tap on the second cell to change loops again. Only one loop on a row can play at a time. Then tap on the second cell again to stop playback. Now that I've added a loop to a cell in the first row, a second row has appeared below it. Tap on the first cell on row 2. Then tap on it again. Tap on loops. And tap on instruments. Now tap on another instrument. Here I will tap on bass. Then tap on the download icon to download a loop. Here I will tap on Passages Synth Bass. To play both sounds in the first cell of both rows, tap on the play icon at the bottom of the screen that is below the first cells. Tap on the play icon below the second cells to play the second cell loops instead. Tap on the stop icon to stop playback. Now tap on the play icon below the first cells. Then tap on the second cell on row 1 to change just the beat loop. Now tap on the second cell on row 3. Then tap on it again. And this time tap on instruments. Then tap on alchemy synth. Here you can record your own loop. But first tap on the end of the ruler. Then tap on the arrows to set how long you want the loop. Here I will set it to two bars. Then tap on the end of the ruler again. 
Now tap on the Go To Beginning icon to set the loop back to the start. Then tap on the Record icon, wait for the counting and play the keys. Then tap on the Stop icon to stop recording. Now tap on the Live Loops icon. Next, tap on the Cell Editing icon. Then tap on the Synth Cell. And tap on Edit. Now double tap on the recording. And tap on Edit. Then drag the pencil icon to the right. Tap on the grid to add a note. Tap on a note to delete it. Press on the middle of a note and drag it left or right to move the note. And press on the end of a note and drag it left or right to change the note length. Tap on Done to finish editing. Then tap on Done again. You can also double tap a loop cell. Tap on the looping toggle to turn off looping if you want the cell to only play once. Tap on Length to change the cell play length. Tap on the semitones minus or plus icons to transpose the loop. Or drag the dot on the velocity slider to change the cell's loudness. Tap on Done to close the pop-up window. Then tap on the cell editing icon to return to live mode. Tap on Time Snap to change how quickly loops are swapped. The loops are currently set to swap at the beginning of a bar. Tap on a quarter note to swap loops at the beginning of a beat instead if you want loops to swap quicker after you tap on a loop. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.